Hey everyone, Spicy Toast Gaming here. I hope you're having a great day and I hope this video can make it just a little bit better. It's the start of a new week, so it's time for a new set of weekly adventures. So this week we have a 1 point, or just a 0.5, 2.5, and a 4 star adventure. Up first for the 0.5, we just have Mountain of Dragons. So game start, the player summons a dragon roost. Now I don't think I've ever seen this before, so that's quite interesting. So dragons roost. Countdown 3, Summon Involus Vox. So you see that right here, 6 cost, 5, 6. Each round, when an ally with Fury kills an enemy for the first time, create a random dragon follower in hand. Now this would probably be best for Elder Dragon, but I think this is a pretty general power that it's just going to be a nice little bonus for you to have no matter who you're playing. And so I don't think you really need to be forced towards playing any specific champion. Also, this is just a half star, so even if this was pushing you in one direction, it wouldn't really matter because this should be very easy. You should be able to complete this on absolutely anyone. So just have fun playing whatever champion you want here. 2.5 up against Kai'Sa. So we have Duplication Glitch. When any player summons a unit that's already in play, grant it 1-1. Now, just for the way this works, the card has to already be in play has to be on the board for you to be able to get the 1-1 one, one on the second copy of that card you play. So summoning the same thing like every round, so for instance some of the champions that summon a ephemeral copy every round, that doesn't count as being in play unless it's still currently on the board. So this isn't that useful of a power in most situations. If you really want to cheese this you can go for Nico with the Grand General's counter plan and then when you play Nico you disguise her as a card. That way, because of the Grand General's counter plan, it's going to make a copy of that card, not a copy of Nico, in your hand for you to play at the start of every round. So you can cheese this if you want. I don't think it's really worth it. But then the main thing here is the little buddies. Round start, the foe summons a random one cost Poro. And so if they get lucky and summon the same Poro twice, then it'll get a little bit stronger because of that duplication. Here, though, I would just go for some of the champions that really like to kill small units. So ones like Kane or Volibear can really scale off of getting kills. And so there would be pretty good options here to be able to dominate this adventure. All right, next up then, four stars, we have Legend Weaver. So all epic cards cost two less. Noxian Might, each round, the first time the foe summons a unit, granted four power and overwhelm. Then we also have the Vicious Enemy, just making everything a little bit harder. This Noxian Might is essentially Darius's third star power, and it is quite powerful. The enemy is really going to be able to put on a lot of pressure here. So being able to kill whatever unit gets this Overwhelm, or Frostbite or Stun it, is a very good option. Legend Weaver, this is going to be an interesting one. Most cards have one to two epics in their deck, but this is going to be a little bit more important for when you're looking through shops. Now, just so you know how to find out if a card is epic, it's going to have kind of the same border. Let's go showcase it with like Aatrox. So Aatrox, I think, is one of the few champions that has two epics in his deck. So right here, the Dark and Aegis, this is a two cost. And you see this crystal gem down here. When it's purple and shaped like this, it's epic. If you look over here, you can see, again, a different shape and different color. That's because it's the champion card. Or if you see here, this is a common because it's the triangle and a green gem. So if you see this purple gem down here on a card, that means it's a epic card. So whenever you're going through the adventure, and especially you're seeing a reward from completing a battle, or you're looking through the shop, pay attention to if it has this gem down here, because then it's going to cost two less. So Aatrox, if you're doing the four-star adventure, this would then be free, which is quite good. And then your Dark and Staff, your other equipment here, this would also be free because it's an epic card, so it's going to cost two less. So Aatrox is one of the ones that has two epics. There are some other champions, and most champions have like one epic. The biggest thing, though, is just looking through those shops to see if you can pick up any great epic cards. The thing, though, this says all epic cards, so that should also apply to the enemy. So who knows what they'll pull out that might be really difficult. So since this is a four star and some of these are pretty tough, you could go for like Aatrox to try to benefit from the Legend Weaver, but this is probably a time where you just want to pull out your Jinx, your Aurelian Soul, LeBlanc, Nidalee, whatever your very overpowered champion is, Diana, and just blast through and annihilate this adventure. Now, if you have any 
helpful tips for these adventures, feel free to list them down below. If there's any powerful champion combinations, definitely help your other players out and put it in the comments down below. I hope this video helped you out and I hope you have a great week.